Well, hey, this is Harriet and Harriet's Florida Kitchen again. I'm Harriet, here's my kitchen, and there's Florida out the window. Now tonight, we're gonna cook something that I think is going to be very, very speedy. The last one was very long, 55 minutes, making pasta, granted it takes a while, but this is gonna be a fast one. This is gonna be um, chicken in wine, better known as coco vin, only we're not using red wine, we're using white wine. And I get it from my mother's a cookbook, an old cookbook of my mother's. It's called Cooking Under Pressure. She got it as a wedding present in 1949, written by, but from her friend who had just written the book, Marion Tracy. And it's one of those super convenient ones that folds back like this so you can prop it on the counter. And she's made this all of my life. Our family has eaten this forever. She's made a million things out of it. This is a very handy little cookbook. You can still get it for about $1.50. You can find it used on Amazon. Anyway, we are making the chicken and wine sauce and I have it totally prepped. I have not I have cheated on every, in every bit of it. It is five minutes after six. And I think that we can get this done so that you can, let's say that you've had a hard day in, in dealing with isolation and coronavirus and quarantine and you've been in your living room all day with five children, your computer, your boss on Zoom and a few meetings and you're thinking last thing I want to do is cook but I want to make it fast. So you, if you don't have a pressure cooker this is going to be a recommendation that you get a pressure cooker that you not be afraid of them. The first thing no, before I start the actual cooking I want to say that the recipe now you're looking at me and so you can see my left you know, left this is my right side. It's your left side. If you look below this video, you'll see a little arrow of it's a phone. It's not a phone, if it's a laptop. Um, you'll see, I think, a description. And if you either hit the, hit the arrow or you scroll on down, you'll see a description of what this is. If it's a long video, you'll see embedded times, like time to, drop, to dry, dry the pasta, 45 colon 15. Watch Harriet eat the food. 50 colon 15 to, and you'll be able to tell if you want to click ahead and not see the whole thing. You'll also be able to tell if there are any products that you want. Those are a little bit lower down, but the main thing is, is the recipe. The recipe will be right there. You do not have to watch it over and over again and copy it down. You can print it out for yourself and it'll be, and that's easy. So that's a little housekeeping that you needed to know. Now, the next thing to know is when you have a pressure cooker, you need to make sure that it is safe to use. And you always check to see that this little bit right here is, is tight. You see it, you can even um, tighten it with a dime. It depends on the nature of your pressure cooker, but this happens to be mine. You also make sure that the indicator, which is here, is, is loose, like, like this. How can I do this on this side? Anyway, it goes back and forth. It's, oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, so it can be, so it's supposed to be loose like that just puts back and forth because as it gets up to steam that will just put it down like that that will turn bright red okay but also you'll see steam stuff coming out right so i've already washed the what we're going to do first is we're going to turn on the burner and we are going to put oil in to cook chicken and i have where's the oil the oil is here and because I didn't want to make another trip to the grocery store that my chicken was delivered, I went ahead and using what I have, which is olive oil, and we'll see if it tastes good. Probably I should use salad oil so that it is a little less, um, has a little less personality of its own. So first thing to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the oil up to speed. I'm gonna cook the chicken, brown, brown the chicken, and then I'm gonna put it in the in the um, um, in, in the pressure cooker and in the pressure cooker with the chicken, I'm going to put wine. That's the most important part, naturally. So I'm going to put um, a half a cup. Let's see, just go for half a cup. Or, so yes, half a cup of wine in the pressure cooker. So that just goes ahead and goes in. Oh, we're waiting for this to heat up. I'm going to brown the chicken. And then I'm going to take the chicken out, put it in with the wine, turn on the pressure cooker um, on but pay about that in a minute, 20 minutes. And while I'm doing that, face back at me, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna cook the onions and the and the mushrooms. Now, it calls for only one onion minced fine and one quarter to one, 30, one third pound fresh mushrooms. 
Well, I really like mushrooms, so I'm using about three quarters, and I'm not slicing them myself. I got them at the store ready to go. And I also really like onions, so I'm not, most probably is about one onion, but at any rate, they are pre-cut. And you can see, this is gonna be so easy peasy. Right, so the oil is now heating up. So I've washed, I've washed and dried the chicken. So it goes in here. It doesn't really matter. You can, with your, if you're cooking chicken, like fried chicken, you need to cook it in separate batches. But if you're doing it just to brown it, do something else with it, it's okay to go ahead and squeeze it all in there because even if you lower the the um, heat of the oil a little bit, it's fine. It'll be okay. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm putting that in. It's just got to brown a bit in order to look attractive and also taste delicious once you get it. Oh, this one's maybe not quite big enough. I should have used that great big pan. I don't think it'll be fine. Right, squeeze all of these in. And we're going to let those, I'm just going to turn off the camera for a second. No, before I turn off the camera, I'm going to tell you this. So while, what we're going to have with this, this is going to be cocoa bag. When we get out the, the chicken, we'll then put the chicken aside, mix up the rest of the chicken juice from the pressure cooker, mix it in with the onions and the, um, with the, onions and the mushrooms, and then thicken all that just a little bit. And we're going to serve it with rice. So I'm going to start the rice. And I'm going to just do a very simple rice, which is two cups, two cups of water. So you see that? Two cups of water to one cup of rice. No, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to bring that to a boil. So turn that on high, too. And I'm going to put in a tablespoon of butter once I have that ready. Now, I'm going to turn this off for just a second. I'm going to cook the chicken, and right now it is... Um, well, it's 12 minutes after 6, and so I'll give you an idea about how long this takes once I come back. All right, the chicken has now been on for about 5 minutes. You can see that it is starting to get, well, you can't see anything because I'm going to show, pick it up in a minute. Now, I'm going to do just a little bit of salt on it, not too much, and I'm going to do a little bit of pepper. You know my favorite thing. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So exciting every time. Never gets old. All right. And now, I'm going to turn it a bit. So, you can see, it's going to be nice golden brown. And it is on, not, it's on between the medium and the high heat. So, see you next. You can see that it's salt on this side, too. Now, excitement, no things going on, so now the rice water is boiling. So I'll put that in. Put it in a little bit with the chicken pork. Bring it to a boil. And I'm going to put in a tablespoon of butter. Always nice to leave something out. So here's about a tablespoon of butter that goes in that. And I'm also going to put a little bit of salt in it. Just go up here in a minute. Yep. Just a little bit of salt. Stir that up a little. Here. And I'm going to turn this down to simmer and let it go for 22 minutes. Right. And then we're back to the chicken. Now this should be getting pretty brown, pretty dry. Yeah, that's looking good. All right. We'll do this chicken a little bit on its edge because it's so good. But I think this one can get right on in here. Now, it's a little bit longer over here. And a little bit on here. Ah, okay. Okay. 
a little bit longer here. Very pale and pitiful. So this one a little bit longer here. Start putting these in the pressure cooker, which is over here. So start transferring these over into, I've already put, remember I've already put the wine in there. Okay. And the other. Kind of looking pitiful. I like that one. It's very good. So you should be able to see that. All right. Okay. These are looking a little pathetic, so let's give them a little more browning. Okay. One of the things I don't love about an electric oven is you have a gas one that's just, I think, very superior. Alright, getting this done. And that one looks great. This one's looking great too. I never like to overcook chicken breast because I think they can be so dry and disgusting. In fact, as a, almost as a matter of principle, I hardly even cook chicken breast. But I think you'll be fine in this. Usually just stick the thighs. All right. They look like tight holes, don't they? They're not very attractive. All right. Okay. That adds flavor. All right. That goes in there. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Oh, not good. Yep. Bring this down a little bit. Okay. All right. Let's get this mushrooms in too. Oh, it's a lot of mushrooms. I'm so excited. All right. Turn it all down. Let it all brown a little. Not brown. It's going to be, you want it to be kind of translucent. Down. All right. Now, while that does its own thing, cooking away over here, we're going to turn on the, the, the process, the food process. Uh, not food process, we're going to do Okay, so in, this, in the case of this one, you loosen it like that, and I'm going to tighten it like that. Depends on your pressure cooker, but that's how this one works. All right, so put this on. And it fits exactly, and if it doesn't fit exactly, you're not doing it right. So let's turn this like this, and push it like that. And then, I'm going to turn on the front burner. Sometimes they, have, they tell you how much pressure, and sometimes they just have pictures. But mine has pictures, so this is the picture of a chicken, this is a picture of vegetables, and this is a picture of steam. So we're going to do it, and this is high steam. I'm never, I'm never quite sure what that means. Anyway, we're going to do it for a chicken. And turn it on. So we have it. It's got a little, a little turner like this. We're going to turn it on to the chicken so that when it heats up, it goes exactly to the right place. Now we also have a timer, and we want to put this on for 20 minutes. So... This timer fits right on it, and we go there to 20 minutes. Wait, it actually fits this way, so, and we're going to do, no it doesn't, it is, uh, just minutes or seconds, these are minutes, okay. So, here we have 20 minutes, and cleverly, it fits on here, and it doesn't start until it's, and it doesn't start until it's up to steam, which is extremely cool. So once it gets up to steam, up to pressure, you can take it off and go in the other room and have a drink, carry your timer with you. So that's going to be, we're going to be getting that ready now. I'm working on the, the onions and the mushrooms. Right, they're looking very, very wonderful. And in a minute, I will stop those and let them sit for a little while because they don't have to be it doesn't have to all happen at the same time. Well, it does have to happen at the same time. These, these can be done a little bit in advance. And as soon as the, we're going to, shortly, we are going to, as soon as the, this was, we're going to cook the onions and the mushrooms and the oil that was used for the chicken, that's what we're doing. Then we're going to add a quarter of a cup of wine once that is cooked. 
And then we're going to drain the juice from the chicken. And we're going to put it in here and we're going to cook it all down a little bit more. And then we're going to serve it over the rice. It's going to be fabulous. Okay, now I'm going to turn this off until the next exciting step. And it is currently, I'm just going to tell you, it is now 26 after 6. So still within my time range, although I'm afraid because this has to cook for 20 minutes. We're going to be a little bit, like 10 minutes off of my 30 minute, which I, which I hope. But I maybe, maybe, maybe the video won't be that long. Okay. The buzzer has just gone off, and as you can see, the timer has, let's see if I can see this, I'll do a selfie of the timer, this is always so stupid to try to do this, this time. Woo! wait, let's see, do a timer, here's the, here's the, where's the timer, wait, you should be able to see it like that, where's the timer, okay, so it's already started now that the steam has kind of started coming out, so I'm still waiting for the little, the little red thing to pop up. And it's getting hotter and hotter. Okay, but it's clearly enough for pressure that it's actually cooking. And so I've pretty much finished what I need to do with the onions and the mushrooms. And they're sitting here patiently waiting for their turn. And we'll wait until this goes off in 18 minutes and 50 seconds. Just to let you know, that little red thing did come up. So I'm feeling a little safer now. <laughs> the rice is just, the rice timer has just gone off. And the rice is looking pretty good. As you can see, nice and fluffy. That's going to be delicious. So turn off the burner. And I'm going to put it over to one side. And then I'm also going to, now I'm going to turn this back on, turn the um, mushrooms and onions. I'm going to pour in the wine. I used, it's no big deal what you really use. I just used a Chardonnay. Just I needed a dry wine. So I used a Chateau Saint Michel because it was on sale at Publix. So I'm going to just knock these around with some of the wine. This has six minutes, so almost seven minutes to go, a little bit under seven now. So while I heat this up with the wine, of course, and then I'm going to turn this back on as soon as it's time to take that out so I can show you the process for Well, between the last segment, when I turned off the camera, and the next one, we had a bit of an electronic snafu. In fact, for the whole last half, not last half, last fifth of the cooking of the cocoa van, we had a bit of a problem because the camera crew did not take on board the fact that there was not enough, there was not enough space left to record the session, and the camera didn't show it. So I had a stern talking to to the camera crew, right? Right. Not going to happen again. Not going to happen again. Okay, so now we know. Now we're about where we caught up. I'm too lazy to completely record the whole thing. So we are going to, I'm just about where I was when we stopped off. The pressure is still up, still going strong. We've got about six minutes to go. The uh, mushrooms and the onions are fine. And I'm now going to check on the rice. Back in a sec. Okay, when last we left our story, it was time to get, it was just about time to get the, to open up the pressure cooker. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to turn it down, and take it off the burner. Let's see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take it off the burner, like that, and I'm going to turn the, just begin to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down to sort of the vegetable area. And then I'll turn it down a little bit more than that to fully open. Notice I have it pointing away from me. And I don't want to point it straight up into the fan because it just makes it so mucky, but it's okay. All right, so then it turns off totally. All right. And as soon as the steam is totally out of it, now I'm going to get... I'm not going to lift that up with. What did I do with that? Here it is. Okay. So the steam has stopped. So I'm going to open it up. And that looks really nice. Okay. And I'm going to take this out. Put 
down on the plate. You know what? I, could, I made a mistake. I may have cooked them a little bit too long because I actually didn't turn the thing on fast enough. So hold the phone. I put these on. This one here. Right. These are much more broken up than I like for them to be. They look like they're going to taste really good. All right. So what I did wrong, as usual, you know, this is the show that screws up so you don't have to. But I didn't do this wrong last time, but I am doing it wrong this time. So I put the pressure cooker on. I turned on the burner, and I didn't turn on the pressure. So then I remembered, and then I turned on the pressure. So they cooked longer than I wanted, and they look a little stringier than I would have liked. But they smell fabulous. Okay. To one side. And there's a little bit. So I put a little bit of the juice that was in with the and with the spoons. There we go. And this back up again. Okay, we've got a little bit of wine in there. We put a quarter of a cup, remember, of wine into the into the um, mushrooms and the onions. And so now let us serve this plate. As soon as the rice is done, we will be back serving the plate. Okay, and now I'm going to serve some rice. And I'm going to put on some chicken, which looks just fine. Which looks better than fine. really does look good. I should be saying that more loudly, shouldn't I? So that you can hear me get excited. All right, so now I'm put a little bit of parsley around on it. Ready, prepped and ready, which will be delicious. And I think we'll just put a little bit of, you know what, pepper on it. Always a good thing to do. Okay. Has plenty of salt. And now I will taste it. Let's see how it does. It's got a knife. Oh. Yes. And a little bit of the chicken. And a little bit of the rice. And a little bit of the mushrooms. Let's see how that tastes. Even though I did a little weirdness with the pressure cooking, it's really, really good. It's great. It's got really nice, elegant taste. Oh, it's so light. I mean, it's, it does seem like it should be light, but it doesn't have that much oil. It has a little, just enough wine. And it is so elegant. It is the nicest, most wonderful melt with the chicken and the mushrooms and the onion and the, and the wine. And that's Virgil. Virgil doesn't get any. I'm so sorry. Anyway, thank you for watching through to sort of an electronic glitch as well as an almost cooking glitch that turned out to be just fine. And thank you for joining me today in Harriet's Florida Kitchen. Bye-bye.